from Indonesia, where the proposed increase in Hajj pilgrimage fees that has been occurring the past week continues to spark polemics amongst Indonesians. The Director General of Haji and Umroh at the Ministry of Religious Affairs claimed that the proposed increase was due to the rising cost associated with Hajj services post the peaks of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Directorate of Hajj and Umroh at the Ministry of Religious Affairs, Hilman Latif, said that the proposed increase in Hajj fees is also based on the increase of daily service fees from the Saudi Arabian government, as well as the currency exchange rates, increase in Hajj accommodation fees, and inflation that has been surging in the past year. Due to all the aforementioned factors, the ministry has proposed to increase Hajj fees by twofolds from 39.8 million to 69.2 million rupiah. Meanwhile, the head of the Hajj Financial Management Agency, Fadlul Iman Shah, explained that 70% from the total fee will be given to Hajj pilgrims, and the remaining 30% will be covered by the Indonesian government from the value of benefits body. And according to Iman Shah, the percentage calculation was formulated in order to ensure value benefits for the next Hajj pilgrims will not be reduced. Less itu sekitar 22 juta rupiah untuk layanan haji yang biasanya 5 juta rupiah. Gitu loh. Nah, ini yang kemudian membuat apa pemerintah Indonesia ya termasuk juga Kementerian Agama, DPR, BPKH harus berpikir keras, berpikir keras karena pengumuman itu juga disampaikan di akhir dan diposting dalam apa yang disebut dengan e-haj ya. Jadi sekarang itu sistemnya di dalam e-haj itu semua Pricing sistemnya sudah ditaruh dan pemerintah Indonesia harus melunasi itu. Otomatis eh, nilai manfaat yang harus diberikan kepada setiap calon jemaah harus meningkat juga sekitar 30 jutaan. Kalau kita hitung secara persentase, maka sebenarnya biaya yang nilai manfaat yang bisa dikontribusikan itu ujungnya sekitar 30 persenan. Kalau kita bicara 30 persenan, maka oleh karena itu maka yang harus dibayar oleh calon jemaah haji pada tahun keberangkatan ini